Slani everybody, I am Corvus Brusche Lugenikos and welcome again to this channel to Starting Out Solitary and today is gonna be a very lame and probably short video unedited and without the intro because basically um, with all my parents health issues I forgot that I had to record and I was waiting for Tuesdays video and apparently there's no Tuesday's video for this week so uh, today we're talking about extremes in paganism and I think I haven't a lot to say about this because I guess most of us reject extremism in any type of ideology including religion and spirituality but I guess the issue is where do we draw the line to define what is extreme and what not because for example many people no sorry not many people some people believe that for example ritual sacrifice of animals is extremism and to me it is an extremism as long as I claim to follow the religion of people that tended to sacrifice animals cyclically so <laughs> to me it cannot be extremist also I guess there's something that I don't like either and is the belief that any extreme uh, idea within paganism or within any religion is being a bad something, a bad Christian, a bad pagan, like for example the belief that uh, racist pagans are bad pagans and I think that we have to get rid of those ideas, all religions including us, um, all of them has extremism and extreme ideas and they're part of our community even if we reject them. We reject them, we state we don't have to do anything with them and that's fine, but it doesn't mean they're not pagan, it doesn't mean they're not Christians, it doesn't mean they're not Muslims, they're all, any of that, any of those, they're just extreme versions of those but being extreme versions of those doesn't mean that they aren't part of those they're maybe not mainstream fortunately but they're part of those religions and yes um, but I think extremism is something that we don't see quite often in paganism. When we see it, we mostly see it in the form of uh, religious fundamentalism. And in the case of uh, traditionalist religions, like for example, some forms of reconstructionism, as uh, Tara herself mentioned in her video, uh, referring to my philosophy, my path, I am a reconstructionist, um, some of them can be pretty racist under the idea that if you're pagan or if you're a reconstructionist you have to stick to your local area or your country's culture or something like that, which I consider, I consider completely inaccurate and some of them even include uh, the race, like you have to stick to a religion that was practice, practi practiced and this is unedited uh, some of them stick to the idea that you have to stick to a religion that was practiced by the race that you belong to, like if you are white you should practice a um, European religion, if you are uh, black you should practice an African religion and so on. And I find that inaccurate. I think every religion has uh, its own rules on who can enter the religion and they're all different. Some can be based on uh, race, 
some on ethnicity, some on participation in culture, some on um, just belief, which is the majority of cases, I would say. Uh, the most just requires uh, you to convert to that religion. So that's pretty easy and fair. Like if you want to be lo if you want to be part of a religion, you should uh, acquire the um, uh, traditions and folk customs and beliefs and to basically fulfill the basic requirements of the of that religion. But yeah, that is like the most seen form of extremism in paganism, racism in the case of reconstructionist and nativist forms of paganism, like in my case, but I'm not racist. Uh, I don't think I would be in this channel if I was racist. I don't think that uh, they would allow me to express my opinions here. Uh, it's true that I favor my culture and my ethnicity, but it's not for racist reasons. I don't reject people who aren't white to belong to my religion. I just think that it makes more sense to me to choose this option from all the options that there are because I have no other reason or no better reason to belong to a foreign uh, religion or to a religion whose culture is completely alien to me because I don't participate of it. If I were to participate in a culture, even if it's because I like it, uh, it would make more sense to me to be part of the religion native to that culture. For example, if I would love Japanese culture and would participate of Japanese culture as much as, much as I can, it would make sense to me to be Shinto instead of Celtiberian. But it's not the case. So it's not a racist thing. Uh, I don't think we should reject people in our religions on the basis of skin color. But I think we should have requirements and people should fulfill and do and follow those uh, leads and requirements that they are given. But yeah, um, extremes, um, basically, it's something nasty that we don't want to see in our communities and we try to get rid of, but they're like cockroaches. They reproduce and survive. But well, um, luckily enough, it's not something very widespread in modern paganism, and I hope it keeps that way. So yeah, we only have to deal with fucking racists and fundamentalists. Not the worst thing that we uh, would have to deal. Uh, there are other religions who have to deal with different things, such as terrorism. So I guess we're kind of lucky to have such a small uh, percentage of what I find like stupid people because I think extreme people or extremism um, is stupid. I said extreme people, but I listen to extreme metal music, so that wouldn't be fair. I'm extreme uh, music wise. <laughs> but yeah, basically that. Um, as you can see, I'm in my uh, pajama and I'm on my bed, so yeah, pretty lame video. But yeah, that's all I have to say about uh, extremism in paganism. So I'm gonna upload this right now and tell me what you think. Me the comments down below um, about extreme ideologies within paganism and the pagan community and also the witchcraft community yeah that's all for now we'll see each other next week i hope with a better video because hopefully my parents will be well at last and I'm going to bed right now. <laughs> well, I'm actually in bed already. I'm going to sleep right now. So guys, thanks for watching. 
Bye.